Hey guys, welcome to the 13th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework of Python. And in this one we're going to be talking a bit more about templates like we have in a few previous videos. But in this one we're going to go a bit more in depth into the Bootstrap Web Framework and using that in our HTML to create what is essentially going to be a more usable user interface other than this Django admin page, which is already done for us. So let's go over to the source code again. And I'm just going to close some of these folders so it's easier to see. And I'm just going to go to the templates folder. And at the moment we've got a home HTML, a login.html, and a base.html. And if you remember, the base.html is where everything that is going to be appearing on every single page in our website in our website can go. So our base.html contains one copy of the code instead of having having all those duplicate files. So I'm going to add to this pretty much exclusively in this video and then we can tweak things specific to the home page or the login page in these templates later when we need to. So in the base.html, what I find with trying to write HTML is that you, you don't have to be afraid to be able to go online and look at other people's HTML documents and use theirs as long as it's free and available to use. So in this case, as we're using Bootstrap, and Bootstrap has lots of examples on their website, I figure there's no point in using just writing out the HTML from scratch. We can just use what boot Bootstrap has given us, or at least we can write the HTML from scratch, but then we can use uh, Bootstrap as inspiration. So to explain sort of what I mean by that, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to type in Bootstrap, and I'm going to say uh, example navbar. So this is going to give us an, a navigation bar, so along the top of our web page, uh, to be able to click on to go to various pages, so that the users don't have to manually navigate through the URL bar like we do at the moment. So I'm just going to go on this top one here, and you can see that it's just got a navigation bar with a few buttons and things. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look at the source code for this, so right click view, view page source. And in here, if we scroll down a bit, you can see some things which might seem slightly familiar if you're familiar with Bootstrap. So we've got a container class, which pretty much contains everything here. So now that we've got the content from this Bootstrap example navigation bar, what I'm going to do is modify this HTML just slightly so that it's more towards what we want. So to do that, I'm just going to see how it looks. So now we've got this navigation bar here, but we've got lots of buttons. and a lot of these buttons are just sort of examples, and this drop down doesn't work because it relies on jQuery and uh, bootstrap.min.js, which, if you have a look at the bottom of this page, it's got here. Uh, but I haven't got that on my page, th so they're not going to work. But what I'm going to do is pretty much remove that because I don't need any of it. And if we need any JavaScript later on, then we can think about adding that as well. But I'm going to, for now, I'm just going to add a break here. And what that does is, it, you can think of it like a blank line if you don't know. So I'm going to refresh that and now it's just, it looks a bit more like the example because the example had that break, break in there as well. And I'm going to remove the rest of these buttons. So if we look at the HTML, I'm just going to find the HTML that corresponds with these buttons. And so this is the elements in the drop down. So there's a drop down and we don't really need any of these. So. In fact, I'm just going to remove this entire UL element because that's corresponding to the buttons all across here. So the home, the about, the contact, etc. So I'm also going to remove most of these and the only one I'm going to keep is one on the right hand side. So you can see it's on the right hand side because it says navbar right, that's bootstrap class as well. And I'm going to say register. So now if we go back, we should be able to see that this is much more towards what we need. So for a login page, we're not going to have all the buttons that we are when we're a logged in user. So all it's going to have really is a register button and that's all they're going to see really. They don't need anything more than that. And maybe I'll have an info button or something like that later on, but this is sort of the basics for now. And when we're a logged in user, we're going to use this navigation bar to be able to present all the other buttons that they can see when they're a logged in user, so like the home page and the, uh, you, you know, your profile page and other other account information and basically things like that. So you need to log in to use this site, and this is pretty much good enough, I think, for now in terms of the navigation bar. I might just change this to say, I don't know. Let's say we're going to make a social 
So this is going to be sort of like a Facebook clone type social network, I guess, but not not anything like the fully featured Facebook that we have, that we know and love today. But uh, this is going to sort of have a profile page and your ability to sort of post content to the site and for all users to see that content and things like that. So I think that's a really good start on the base.html. And now every HTML template that uses that HTML that base.html is going to have that navigation bar. So that's a really good start and I think in the next few videos we're probably going to look at making that register button work. So the user is going to be able to enter all their information that we want from them and then they can create their own user account uh, which is a standard Django user account which is going to appear in the Django admin and then they'll be able to log in with those credentials in the login form. 